Bagaimana untuk negara ini macam mahu kata apa? Kira macam tanggungjawab untuk kaya Malaysia yang mana peminat peminat bola. They will go round or whatever it is and whenever with the matches in India, the selectors will be selecting. Then they will connect collect about 24, 25 players of the call up. Then they have, will have trial line. The probable versus the possibles. That's how we get selected. It is from these selections that Naman Abdullah and M. Kupan, both Penang State players, get the chance to represent Malaysia. In the early days, the Merdeka tournament, which was established by Malaysia's first Prime Minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman, in commemoration of the nation's independence, becomes the premier tournament in the region. Every time Malaysia plays in the Merdeka Stadium, in the tournament, stadium will be full. Stadium will be really full. From 7 o'clock like that, uh, 6.30, 7, uh, you cannot walk from, uh, what do you call, five foot way. Uh, you cannot walk up the cliff uh, to Madaka Stadium uh, ground. All be packed. August 1972, the Munich Olympic Stadium. Malaysia are down to play hosts West Germany in the opening match of the games. Oh, yeah, to la. Gembira la. Shock. And then masa tu nak pijak padang pun takut. Dia padang la. Oh. Although first timers at the Olympics, they played gallantly, holding West Germany to a scoreless first half. 1974, Penang are preparing for the Malaysia Cup campaign. They have one of the best state lineups of the decade. Naman Abdullah is the Penang captain, while M. Kupan is coaching both the state and the national team. Interestingly, it was back in 1958 that Penang last won the Malaysia Cup, then Malaya Cup, when Kupan was playing for the state. Penang beat Parak 2-1 in the final to become Malaysia Cup champions after 16 years. We won the cup. Penang has not won the cup until now, you know. 